Guys, welcome back to Vlogmas Day 2! I wanted to show you guys where we left off with the room. So, I like that this area now I have a little bit of a workspace. So, that's where I edited yesterday's vlog. And I did get my desktop cleaned off and I did wash all of my dirty brushes and I moved my mirror over here so yesterday's video we went over uh, me organizing this so check out day one if you missed it but today we are gonna do a first impressions of the makeup that was hauled in yesterday's video hey oh is it filming time mom I'm here I'm here I'm here come here Morty they can't see you come here come on they can't see you Morty! Oh, everyone loved you yesterday. Oh! He's like soft blanket, chair. I need it. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. It's a quarter till 9 a.m. I have my big glass of water. I have had my breakfast and coffee. Mm, 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 mm. Starting my water intake for the day. It's very gloomy outside, so. We got a lot of lights, hopefully it's okay. And uh, thank you guys for watching yesterday. You guys showed up. I was like, okay, Vlogmas fam, what's up? So yeah, I said in that video we're gonna do a first impression of um, some of the makeup that was hauled in that video. Um, and then I'm also gonna show you clips of last night of us making the soup and me talking about our meal prep for the week. So that is what today's video is going to be. Tomorrow, I'm going to do a day in my life. So that video will be up really late. <laughs> so just so you know, it'll be probably posted around 10 p.m. Just because my day goes, my days go that late. <laughs> well, they actually go until like 8.30 most nights. But um, I, you know, need time to like edit it and stuff. So... <laughs> Alright, let's just go ahead into the makeup. So we're just going to go in with the Too Faced Hangover RX. It's one of my favorites. So we're going to moist, moisturize. Actually, we're going to prime. We've already moisturized. I talked about my AM skincare in yesterday's video. Ooh, ooh. How you guys like Vlogmas? So much content on YouTube right now. Can't keep up. I can't keep up. I have so much work to do today. I don't have time for all this. I will make time though. <laughs> all right. So here is the first product is the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate and Radiant Foundation F4. Um, this is on sale, 30% off Makeup Revolution on Ulta's website. So go check that out if you are interested. Um, like I said yesterday, it does have a pump. So we're going to put it on this L'Oreal sponge and see how it blends. This is a hard foundation to color match. Um, the tones are very strange. Um, so we'll just see what happens. It's so dark in this beauty room. I can't really. I mean, I have a lot of light, so hopefully it's not looking too dark for you guys. But it's like dark for me. Wow, I did not put very much, and it, like, just absorbed right into the skin. That was one pump. So let's go in with another pump. You really don't need a lot for it to cover. That's nice. It just sinks right into the skin like that's so crazy like in a good way but like it's just melted already i love that oh my gosh do you see that that glow they weren't joking about that radiant shoot oh yeah she's radiant Yeah, um, it's definitely a full coverage, like, I 
I don't know. I won't really know until it like absorbs into my skin, but right now, my skin's looking really good. So, that was with two pumps of the uh, Conceal and Hydrate from Makeup Revolution. 30% off at Ulta um, today. I'm kind of sad I didn't wait for the sale, but also I think I would have picked the wrong color online. So, I'm glad that I just got it while I was there in person. Um, then we're going to go in with the Conceal and Hydrate. Mine is in C3. And I will say, I think that foundation match is pretty good. Pretty good. I'll have to go look once all my makeup's done and see how I really feel. But, ooh, 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 big one. Yes, yes, brighten me up, concealer, brighten me up. Ooh. Today, like every day, we going hot with work, y'all. I have um, some reports to do for my program coordinator role. I have to reach out to clients. I have calls today. I have training in person, and I have class that I teach tonight. So it's a full day. Some days I'm like, oh, man, I should really wake up at like 6 a.m. and just get at it. But then I'm like, but you work until like 8, 8.30, basically most, almost all nights of the week. So like, I don't know. That's just part of me putting too much pressure on myself. I just need to chill. But anyways, that's my internal struggle at all times. Okay. That also just like absorbed right into... The skin, look at that full coverage! Dang, Revolution on play! They have a loose powder that looks really pretty, but it did not have the best reviews. I'm gonna go ahead and put some other products on my face, and I'm just gonna kind of put music over it so that this part isn't too long. But we're gonna put on MAC Painterly on the eyes. We are gonna set the face with um, the, I almost said Bare Minerals. Oh! This is the Hourglass Veil Loose Setting Powder. And then I am going to bronze my face with Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light. And then I'm going to put my beloved Makeup Revolution Bake and Blot and Banana Light to uh, finish up under my eyes to brighten them. And then I'll come back for the, uh, the BH Cosmetics Glowy in Greece. So we'll just fast forward through so we're not here all day. Okay, let's do it. Y'all, I'm loving how everything looks right now. Shoot. Okay, so I am now going to go in with the BH Cosmetics. This is the Glowing in Grease 6 Color Blush and Highlight Palette. I did swatch it all um, yesterday for you guys. This is what it looks like. I'm going to go in with Athens and Mykonos. So for Athens... We're going to use this Wet n Wild brush. Let's see how much we need. Oh, okay. Hello. Hello. How are you today, Athens? What's going on? Y'all. Y'all. BH did not come to play today. They came to work. That is stunning. It's like that 
wet look and it's um very champagne-y mm -hmm. is that a word yes 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 and then let me grab a blush brush my brushes are drying so i have to go get one but all right let's go in with mykonos now see how we like her oh she's got some pigment she's got some pigment mm-hmm BH Cosmetics is also on sale today on Ulta, but this palette is not part of that sale, so. You could get some other good stuff, though. The Tarte palettes, Tarte Lip palettes are, are $20. Um, basically everywhere. Sephora, Ulta, Tarte's website. Alright, and then I'm going to blend that out. Oh, my face just looks so pretty. It's just so like flawless. Like this really is a full coverage foundation. Like they weren't, they weren't lying about that, but it just looks flawless. I really like it. And this was really pretty. That highlight is popping. Um, as far as eyeshadows go, I did want to use this one with you guys, which is the Viseart um dark matte zero four this is new to me but not new at all on the market so i think i just want to play with these two and all well, like these three colors and build up my crease just a little bit <laughs> my phone is blowing up right now from a group chat uh with some other instructors we're all trying to figure out our holiday travel schedules <laughs> and get classes covered so everyone is like Okay, I can cover you on this day. Who can cover me on this day? <laughs> so funny. Um, I need to look at it and see if I can help any of them out because I know I need a few classes covered and I think one of them has gotten covered. So that That's kind of the cool part about teaching classes. Is if you get a, a good community of instructors, you guys can just share with each other and switch and it's not too big of a deal oh that's that orange shade hello orange now we're gonna go in with like the deeper orange shade right here same brush and just keep that more in the crease not blown out out so much yes Ooh, it's starting to get sunny out it's starting to get well sunny sunny is a, a strong word but it's <laughs> the sun's starting to come out it's not as dark I hope the lighting is okay for you guys. Hopefully it's not too bright, not too dark, just right. I really like this orange. Okay, and then we're gonna take the brown and I will switch brushes. So I was using a Morphe M573. So we'll just go in with a Real Techniques um, 203. It's like a pinched in brush. I use this a lot on my channel. Going in with the brown. Now I'm going to take a brush without any product and just blend out the edges. Alright, and then I'm going to go back in with our BH palette. And let's just use this highlight on the inner corner in the lid I love like these golds with uh, a nice warm eye I don't know I just think it looks really pretty mm-hmm oh she's cute y'all she's cute I'm gonna put some uh, L'Oreal Lash Paradise mascara on my lashes I like, I like, I like. And then we're going to put the It Brow Power on my brows with the Gimme Brow in 01.
Hey guys, it's a couple of hours later. My battery had died and then I got sucked into work. But we now have natural lighting. It's a little bit brighter outside. It's about 11.35. So here is the foundation so far. I think it looks so good and I think that the highlight and the blush look really pretty on top of it. Um, I like it. This foundation Hulu, Hulu, Hulu is definitely a full coverage foundation, but it's very glowy. Like that glow is the foundation. So, <laughs> okay, makeup revolution. And I think the color is really nice. I don't think it like looks off or anything. So, just just to give you a reference, let me grab some other foundations. Okay, we gotta go down here. All right, so, for example, <laughs> I am L'Oreal Pro Glow in 202. That's a solid color of mine. I think, honestly, that's my best match at this point because the rest of my foundations are too light they are my winter colors so if you are familiar with pro glow maybe that would help you match to see if f4 would be good for you um and then this concealer c3 was good for me let me see if i have a concealer comparison well here we go the cover girl classic ivory is a good match for me and then here is F, or sorry, C3. So they're pretty, pretty similar. So I don't know if that helps you guys with the shade comparisons. But I thought we would put on one of the lipsticks. Okay, so I grabbed one of the Becca Minis. This one is in C Sugar. So let's see what this color looks like. I think it should go well with the eyes. It smells like sugar. I want to eat it. <laughs> It's a little bit lighter than I thought, but it's just such a moisturizing lip product. I really love it. Yeah, I don't think I had grabbed a liner and a gloss just in case. I had grabbed the liner from Milani Spice. There's like a ladybug on the window outside. <laughs> Anyways, in NARS uh, Xenon, I grabbed these to maybe pair with it, but I don't think it needs anything I think that looks nice and I did set my face with the MAC uh, prep and prime I'm trying to pan this and I really enjoy the smell of it but anyways that is our first impressions I think it looks really nice um, I don't know I'll give it I'm gonna wear it for a few more hours maybe like three more hours and then I'm gonna wash it off because I um, I teach body pump tonight and I sweat a lot in that class and I don't want this dripping all over me. Um, but I'll, I usually will keep the eyes and just wash like the face products off. But, uh, we'll see how it wears in the next few hours and I'll give an update tomorrow ah, 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 for day three. But yeah, guys, I think that's pretty much day two. I'm going to go ahead and insert our meal plan and then how to make the soup. But I appreciate all of you for watching, and I will see you tomorrow in day three. Okay, bye. Guys, Jared's about to show the recipe, but I want to show you this real quick. I just typed this up and printed it out. Um, it's just easier for me to organize my thoughts when I type it, because I can kind of just type whatever comes to mind and then put it in order. So for this week, breakfast, Jared's going to have smoothies, and I'm going to make pro protein pancakes um basically just regular pancake mix i am gluten free so i get gluten free pancake mix add a little bit of protein powder and then i'll add blueberries and bananas and just a touch of syrup and that will last me all the way until lunch so i've been enjoying that for lunch jared is going to make sandwiches and i'm going to eat the leftover soup that we're going to make right now that's going to be my leftover lunches for the week and then uh for dinners um we're going to have this soup now that Jared's making 
But Monday night, we'll make a uh, chicken, cauliflower, rice, and we were gonna do roasted carrots, but we'll have to do some other vegetable because we don't have enough carrots um, for both the stew and this. But we haven't had cauliflower rice before, so we're gonna try it out and see how we like it. And then for snacks, we have a chili that was in the freezer. So we're thawing that and Jared will just eat that like as an after school snack. And then we have apples and peanut butter, or apples and caramel, and we also have other fruits and that kind of thing. So then I just go ahead and put it in the order of how it is in the store. So produce, cold stuff, the aisle, and frozen. And we were gonna go to Aldi, but we ended up just ordering through Amazon Fresh, which has pretty good um, deals. Like all of this was $62, so. Tell them about the uh, coffee, too. Oh yeah, so Costco, y'all. Costco will deliver through Instacart, only a $35 minimum. And we always uh, buy our coffee through Costco. It's just more bang for your buck. So they had, we usually get the Costco cart Kirkland brand, and that's what I was planning on getting, but they had the organic winter blend from Starbucks, and this is a 40 ounce bag, which is two and a half pounds, and these are normally $35 each, and they were on sale for 17 so we got two, um, and that hit our $35 order, so that's all we ordered from them, and the driver, I made a note, I was like, I don't know if you grind coffee or not, but I would love if you did or could or whatever, because this is whole bean and she ground both of them because we don't have a coffee grinder anymore. So uh, we use our uh, our little bullet thing if we have to grind coffee. So we would have made it work, but yeah, we had it this morning and it was good. What'd you think? Oh, delicious. Yeah. So, yes. That, oh my, y'all. Y'all. Finding out that Costco delivers Game changer. Because something happens when you go to Costco where you have a list that's like $50 to $100 and you walk away spending $400. And you're like, I don't understand. I'm not going to be able to pay my bills. Like, what happened? Where did this go wrong? Um, and so we found that out. And now we can just buy what we need at $35 increments as we run out of it. So, like, paper towels and... Um, toilet paper we got that one day and we got those coffees sometimes we'll do like eggs milk bread frozen pizza that kind of thing so it's clutch all right jared is cleaning the area it's not too bad we've been on top of dishes but we have a couple he's just sitting to the side but he did get the ingredients out so this is basically from jared's head so i don't really have a recipe to link to you guys but here are the ingredients. We do um, three of the Swanson brand, doesn't particularly matter, but um, cooking stock and we got beef and these are 32 ounces, so we got three of those. And then we got a uh, can of the cut green beans. We did two of those. Again, brand doesn't matter. We were just getting the cheapest thing from Amazon Fresh. <laughs> uh, and then uh, diced tomatoes. Uh, we have ones from Costco. They're Kirkland brand. So we're going to do two of those. And as far as ounces go, the green beans are 14.5 ounces. So two of those. And same with the diced tomatoes. And then the sweet corn, again, is from Kirkland. That is 15.25 uh, ounces. We got two of those. And then we're doing peas. Um, 15 ounce. Two 15 ounce cans of peas. So we're gonna get our protein in from all of the beans, and we're also doing two cans of black beans, which are 15 ounce. Those are also from Costco, not Costco brand. We're gonna do four rus rus what are they called? Russet. Russell russet potatoes, and then we have um, carrots that are left over um, from last week. Uh, oh, we made wild rice soup with these last week or the week before last. Yesterday, so. I just read an article that wild rice uh -huh. is not actually rice. What is it? It is a uh, seed. It's a oh. grass seed. Mm. Yeah. So, um, it's not actually rice. 
but uh, it is the healthiest for sure. So uh, the white rice apparently um, is just uh, stripped of a lot of its um, vitamins, minerals, uh -huh. things like that. Um, and that's why it's it's white because it's it gets bleached. I may be wrong with some of that information, but um. okay. Jared's gonna cut everything up, and we will check back with the next step. Woo -doo -woo. All right. So in the pot, um, initially I threw in four medium-sized russet potatoes, um, a pretty much a package of baby carrots. Mm -hmm. um, sliced all those up, I don't know, half an inch, quarter of an inch, uh, half an inch, something like that. Um, so yeah, potatoes, carrots, put those in the bottom of the pot with a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, um, and then, I don't know, uh, maybe a quarter of the beef stock. And then I put the lid on, um, and then grab two cans of uh, corn, drain those, put those in there, stir it up. Um, so basically I, I cooked the uh, potatoes and the carrots a little bit just so I could stew them, um, get those uh, working with the, the beef uh, broth. Um, then yeah, threw in the, the cans of corn. <clears throat> After those cooked down a little bit, probably about five, seven minutes um, at between medium and high heat. Um, kept stirring that as well. Then I added the rest of the first container of beef stock. And I put these in uh, in order of um, hardness, right? So obviously the, the potatoes and carrots go in first so they can cook and get soft, softer. Um, then the corn <clears throat> with a little bit of the broth. Then I take what's hardest next um, that's the, the green beans, two cans of those, um, and then the uh, black beans. But you know what? I'm going to hold off on the black beans. So I'm going to do the, um, the green beans, the diced tomatoes, and then very last, the sweet peas. One thing I do as well, and this might be kind of paranoid, but my Uncle Doug used to do this uh, before he had any can of Coke or Mom Dew or whatever. He would wash off the top of the can. Why? Apparently, at the factories where they can everything um, at, from time to time they have a little mouse or rat problem so just in keeping with uh, safety and tradition I wash off the tops of them before I put everything in these are the last two cans I'm gonna put in um, always also remember to um, to drain corn peas you can keep the tomato saw the tomato the stewed tomatoes diced tomatoes um, I, I do because it, it, it adds more of you know, the tomato -y flavor, especially if it's more organic as well. If they're not throwing in any uh, preservatives or anything like that. Um, so you can keep that. Then the peas. Listen, this is not a gourmet meal <laughs> in the very least. But um, I like to uh, try to recreate, you know, uh, dishes that... Um, this is that were made for me when I was growing up. Um, you know, uh, soup that was always a comfort. And so that's what I am trying to recreate here. Um, so the last can is gonna be put in there. I'm not going to do the black beans um, just because we have a little bit of a space constraint. So, <laughs> um, and we said in the beginning that we had three of these 32 ounce um, containers of beef stock. We will see if all three will get in there. All right, this is after two of the broth. And you could leave it here, but I like uh, I like a lot of broth in mine. So, um, and there's there's an awful lot of vegetables in there too. So it, it it'll probably need. Not sure what uh, what size um, pot this is, but if you have something um, like it or something bigger um, that 
that recipe will work just fine for you. Like I said, there are, uh, in the bottom, there was the carrots, one, one package of the baby carrots, uh, cut up in about half inch little cubes. Same thing with the rust potatoes, medium size, four, four to five rust, uh, medium sized rust potatoes, diced up, cubed up, I mean. Um, then you can salt and pepper those. You can add garlic and everything um, as well, uh, but I didn't think it was necessary. Uh, when they can everything, it's it's uh, you know loaded up with salt, so it should be fine. Um, three containers of the beef stock, two cans of corn, two cans of uh, that you drain, two cans of peas that you drain, uh, diced or stewed uh, tomatoes. And what am I forgetting? Oh yeah, green beans. Um, you also want to drain those as well. Um, then, you know, give it a couple good stirs. Put it on medium, medium heat. Yeah, yeah I think that's a good, that's a good mixture there now too. Um, you can salt it again after you taste it. Salt and pepper to taste, and then just let it go. It shouldn't stick to the bottom even if it gets super hot, because um, there's enough liquid in there. Um, that the vegetables are suspended. Ready? Yep. All right. To finish it up, I um, I actually used a can of tomato paste <clears throat> to thicken it up a little bit. All right. So to uh, just some tomato paste, and also I took uh, this little tea strainer. Is that what it's called? I think so. Yeah. And I also put some well bay leaves. Yeah. Put some bay leaves in there. I typically use it for. Um, <clears throat> for um, chicken noodle soup, but I used it for the uh, beef vegetable this time. And it's been sitting for a few hours. Yeah, yeah, at, at uh, medium at first and then um, and then low heat. And it's just been simmering for the past 20, 30 minutes now. Um, so you can keep it on for two, three hours. The longer you keep it on, the more the taste will kind of blend together. Um, and here we go. Here it is. Looks pretty good. Mm-hmm. Simple. You could also do this in a crock pot if you didn't want to Yeah, you could just leave it for the, for, for the whole day. But, um, looks pretty good. Pretty hearty. Oh, yeah. There you have it. Nice warm mm. bowl of beef vegetable. Woohoo! Guys, we talked about this a little bit in day one, but uh, that video ran long, so we're gonna hope you enjoy it for day two.